just played an amazing nine holes of golf at Cadrona Golf Club. You've got to watch this to the last hole. What happens in the last hole, it's world class. World class? World class? Right, first hole, par five. Hitting driver, come on. Okay, it's tailed off to the right. Go over that bunker. It's fine. Good. Right, preferred lies. Give this a little clean. So par five, can't reach in two, not the best drive. But that's all right. <laughs> so I'm going to hit six iron. The idea today is to try and break par. I'm going to play nine holes and try and break par. That's the mission for today. Okay, just right of that bunker. A little bit clean. Perfectly fine. So yeah, going to try and break par today. We've got... Um, we're going to play the first eight holes here at Cadrona and then try and jump on the 18th. So it might be eight holes or nine holes. If we play eight holes, that will be par 37. So we're looking for 36 shots or less. I've got this. I've got it today. I can feel it. Right, 113 left. Into the breeze. Just going to hit a smooth wedge. Front right pin. This is actually, this is a, this is a chance to get an early birdie on the card. 113. Okay, it's just left of the pin. Be good. Yeah, it's fine. Quite happy with that. No warm up. Jump straight on the course. Put for a birdie. <laughs> right, we are. One, two, three, four. So 12 feet to open with a birdie. So these holes, have, these greens have been punched for aeration. It's just unfortunately that time of year. <sighs> right, okay, par. I'm just back from Pooler Golf Resort in Mallorca where the greens were rapid, very, very fast. So that's my first part of the day. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to it, but we'll get there. One hole played, level par, just move on. Okay, par four. It's another good birdie chance. Okay, that's good. That might be in that green side bunker, but that's okay. That was good, solid strike. Woof. Yes, yes, we can do this. We can get under par. I'm sure we can get under par. Right, the drive was good. I expected to be in this bunker, to be fair. There's the flag up there. So I've got about a 30 yard bunker shot. The sand is soaking wet. Obviously, the amount of rain we've had lately has made this pretty tricky. Oh, it's decent. Quite happy with that. It felt good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've popped it to 18 feet. That's that's all right. So breaking off the right. Try and get the pace of this this time. Come on, let's get under par. One shot at a time. Right edge. Done it. We're under par. We're moving on to the next hole because we're under par. Right, third hole, 406 yards from these tees. So that was good to make a birdie in the last hole because the, the first two holes are the most gettable chances for birdie, really, on the front nine. Maybe the eighth as well. Um, so to get one under at least through them is, is pretty good. So we're on track. Okay, two hybrid. Perfect, just over the right hand bunker. Yes, yes, we're on it. We're going to do it. <laughs> okay, I've left myself 133 yards, 133, which is pretty much full wedge. So there's loads of room to the right of the pin. That's the safe play. 
because pins on the left edge. Go on. Yeah, we're good again. So we're just right of the pin. I don't know, 20 feet maybe. I feel as though we're so we're two and a half holes in. I feel as though if we can get to if we can get to the fifth green. Because the fourth hole's hard, fifth par three's hard. If we can get there maintaining the one under, then we've got a par five, sixth hole. Chance to get two under there. That's the plan. One under through five would be great. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen feet again. So again, fifteen feet. Good position to keep attacking here. Yeah, I think it's just middle right. Probably pretty straight, actually. Middle right. Oh, pushed it. I pushed it, man. <laughs> okay, one under through three. Good. Right, 443 yards, par four. Straightest hole in the world. There's nothing to aim at, I hate this. There's nothing to aim at. This hole in the sixth hole, nothing to aim at. Need to try and be creative and just find something. Okay, it's good. Straight down the middle. Yeah. Brilliant. So we are. 443 yards, last hole was 406, driver wedge, I'm thinking, sorry, hybrid wedge, this will probably be, I'll probably leave a bit of an 8 iron in there, full shot, it's fine. So I could have hit driver there, but driver, it's such a straight hole, that for me, I just, when it's straight like that, I can't see driver, I need something to work it off, or more definition, so that's why I hit hybrid. Fair enough, I'll leave a longer shot in, but that's why you've got 14 clubs, I'm happy with that, it's fine. Wow. 194, so I'm a lot further back than I expected. The fairway is very wet. 194, wow, that's five iron, no way. 194 yards. I'm just going to confirm that. 194. So we're down breeze, I'm going to hit six iron. 180. Pins at the back, This so I'm going six iron. Even that looks too close. We'll just trust the number. Smooth a six iron in there. Okay, so I've tugged it left, trying to take some off it. Left side of the green. Sit there, sit there. I'm not sure if that held the green or if it's just jumped off the back. Oh, I'm annoyed at that. Totally stuck in between numbers there. Completely misjudged myself, misguessed myself. <laughs> If that was 194 yards, I'm not convinced with that. I took loads off that 6 iron and I've hit it 194. So I've got a fair... Right, okay. This is alright. I've got a pitching wedge because I want it to run out. I'm going to keep this low. Just get that a few yards on, let it run out. Oh, steady. Okay, it's all right. So probably five, six feet max, five feet. Tell you what, I'm so glad that went in because this one under par through five is massive to try and stay under par for these nine holes. 194 in there. I need to get a new laser, I think. <laughs> Fifth hole, par three, 186. Look at the pin. And what sort of pin position is that? 
Right, 177 is the exact number to the pin. I'm going to take 7 iron, which goes 170. Just think about the last hole, 1946 iron. Knocked down. There's a bit of wind up there. It'll have to be a solid 7 to get you. Okay, the tee really high for some reason. It's gone left. Back middle of the green. It's fine, absolutely fine. I don't know why I had my tee so high. I was aware of that before I even swung. <laughs> So that was a classic example. My tee, I was aware it was too high, but rather than fix it, I just went for it. And uh, no one should be doing that. Eh? We're all more educated than that. Right, we've just hopped off the back of the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 1751, so 51 feet. I'm electing to putt. I've got about one putter length to go before it hits the green. So I could chip it, but the speed it's going to be going at to begin with, I'm happy just to smash this. This is pretty straight. 51, playing about 56 because of the fringe. Oh. Right, that's good. So that is mission accomplished. So the small, the mini goal that I gave myself to get myself one under through five, I've achieved. So that's massive. Now I've got six, seven, eight, and then up 18, so four holes. So we're more than halfway through. I've achieved a mini goal. My next mini goal here is hit fairway on the six. I do struggle with this. And then from there, we can start projecting things going forward. So. A birdie up here is going to be massive to get two under. Seventh's a tough hole, eight's another birdie chance, and then 18's a tough hole. So there's maybe one birdie chance out of the next four holes. All depends on the tee shot here as to whether this becomes a chance for birdie or not. Right, par five, dog legs slightly left. However, it's uh, there's not a lot to, to aim at. You, know, you have to pick a tree or pick a part of the hill or something like that. come out so low, pretty much thinned it, but that's perfect because a thin goes straight, that was pretty ugly, but super safe. Right, 253 yards back into a little breeze, so I'm never reaching that, even with three wood, so I'm going to hit two iron, try and get up there close, leave myself a good yardage. Okay, it's leaking a little bit to the right. Oh no, that's fine. It's good. So I could have hit three wood there. Could have hit my hybrid. Three wood might have got close. Such a hard shot. It's um, the three wood is with such little loft on it and into the breeze. I know I'm not going to reach. Uh, pointless risking it. We're on the score. We're one under. Two iron into play. Hopefully up and down it from there. We will up and down it from there. I think it's just left of the bunker. That would have got there. That um, three wood or even two hybrid might have got there. That got closer than I thought. <clears throat> so it's sitting quite high up in the grass. Go on. Oh, <laughs> how close is that, Lloyd? Uh. I'll do it. Right, good shot there. So the layup was quite clever in hindsight. However, we could have reached in two. Well, let's just stroll this in for the birdie. Excellent. Right, so we're two under through six. <laughs> That's all coming together. The plan, be under par, is uh, achievable. There's a chance it's going to happen. Right, hole 7392. Yards, stroke index 1. 392. Dog legs straight right, so 90 degrees right, so in between the trees. And then straight right. In between the trees, straight down. Ok, 
Okay, I've overdrawn it. That could be bunker left. Okay, that leaves, <laughs> that leaves a very long second shot in there. But it's safe. You can hit driver over the trees on the right-hand side. But today, because it's a competitive round and trying to keep the score going, I've decided that two hybrid was the play. One, six, six, seven iron. Might get a flyer out here. Downhill lie, this is awkward. Oh, it's in the bunker, front right. Get over it. Oh no, that was terrible. That's alright though. Do you know what that is? That is an opportunity for a great up and down. So rather than bothering about the fact I've hit a bad shot, stand here and think, do you know what, I've got a chance to show my skills and up and down this and hopefully stay under par. We've still got another two holes we can birdie. Eight's a birdie chance and 18 is tough, let's be fair. But, eh, uh, eh, first bad shot of the day. Had to happen at some point. Always expect it. Right, the bunkers are just hard packed with sand, wet sand. It's so much rain the last two days. Come on, up and down. Oh, go. Oh, what? Okay, chance for par though. A little bit annoyed with that. <laughs> ah! Okay, good effort. <laughs> Right then, one, two, three, almost four, ten feet. God, come on, ten feet for par. This is pretty straight. Let's just let's go at it. Oh, that is massive. Honestly, that's class. So the bunker shot, I was upset with the bunker shot purely because of the lie in the bunker or because of the texture of the sand from uh, all the heavy rain. But yeah, that's out of control. You can't control, only control the controllables. And that was uncontrollable because it was an act of nature. So I just had to deal with that. But that's a good save, good up and down. Still two under through seven, two holes to go. Birdie chance on the next hole. Right, eighth hole, two under. This is good, par 4, 338 yards. It's going to hit 3 wood, 338. I'm going to commit fully to this. Oh, that's good. It's drawing a little bit, just up the left, over the bunker. Yep, good, just over the right hand side of the right bunker. A little bit of a tight line. To, oh! <laughs> Cameraman, you okay? Ow. So a good tee shot landed right there. Well, oh, good tee shot, but left myself zero, zero line to the pin. 81 yards, so I'm just going to have to go right of it. There's a white post at the back of the green. Let's go for that. That's on a great line. Might be a little bit big. <sighs> chance for birdie though. Another chance for birdie. Okay, that was pretty good. Just flew a touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 feet. Just jumped off the back. So, it's straight. It's perfectly straight. Let's just take photos of this in the brain. Twenty-one. Oh, pushed it. That was that was human error. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Right, still two under through eight. We're going to cut across now to the eighteenth hole. If there's nobody coming across there, and hopefully 
we can par the last to finish two under, or even bird it, hard hole though. But we've done well today, done really well so far. Um, a couple of funky shots, especially down seven, second shot in there in the bunker, good up and down. Um, but everything else, it's been pretty solid, pretty good, quite happy with it. Right, last hole, 387, 388, sorry, <laughs> yeah, 387, bunker left. A water hazard that's appeared over the last two days on the right. That'd be great to finish with a three. Let's pick a line, commit to that. Oh, that's perfect. Just drawing left towards the bunker. Should be over that though. That's a good strike. <laughs> um, done quite well. Two under par through eight holes. And it could have been lower, it could have been a lot lower. So this is this is good, this has been a good test of golf for me. Of course it's in good nick considering the time of year. Pretty, pretty good condition to be fair. And the weather today, that helped. Obviously the sun came out, dried up a little bit. It was actually wet in the car park before we started, so we've done all right. Um, but look at the water, I mean the rain that's fallen. Look at that, incredible. Wonder if that bird's a member. <laughs> oh, obviously not. I honestly thought the tee shot was perfect, but it's obviously curved more than I thought. And the, I was lucky to find that. The lie is horrendous. So I've got 58, we're going to go sideways. Okay, we're here. <laughs> right, so. We've got one, two, six to the pin. This is not coming out here very well. I'm going to take loads of club, try and get it up there. Anywhere front edge is good. One, two, six. I've got nine iron. I'm going to try and cut nine iron down the slope. This is tough. Jeez. Aim left, try and get nine iron cut down the slope. Look at the flag, it's on it. Oh, he's played it. Zoom in on that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I took half of Scotland away with me there. Wow, that was, that's, honestly, that's not the shot, the shot. Not the shot? Not the sort of shot you practice very often, but just shows you when you get into a position where you're out of play. If you panic, you're never going to get away with it. It's just trying to stay, stay clear in the head and, Keep those thoughts where they should be, don't get carried away. Stay calm, just let it happen. I've got a par putt. Right, just played the shot of my life. <laughs> we managed to get it round here somewhere and let it kick down. So I really cut across that, stayed down on it. Took extra club to allow for it, ran out, brilliant. And I've left myself one, two, three, nine feet for a par, which should be better than any of today's birdies. <laughs> okay, just off the right edge. It's tremendous. This putter's brilliant, I love it. There we go. So, nine hole challenge to try and get under par. We did it, it was a par 37, we shot 35, two under par. Um, thanks to my man Lloyd for filming. Check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. Click subscribe, hit the bell notification and the thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Filmed today at Cardona Golf and Country Club in the Borders and look, there's the cameraman right there. What do you say Lloyd? Hi. Is that it? Yeah. Hit that subscribe button right now and that bell notification. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Nice one. Yeah, I made that up, you know.